Kyle Busch confirms his retirement from the NASCAR Xfinity Series, and Joe Gibbs Racing makes a surprising new driver announcement. How's it going, y'all? My name is Eric. Welcome to Out of the Groove. I hope you're doing well today. Got a lot of Xfinity Series stuff to talk about today, but before we get to that, I want to remind you guys that you only have today and tomorrow left to enter the Daytona Fan Zone giveaway, courtesy of my friends at SiriusXM NASCAR Radio. Click the link down in the description below to enter. It's free. You'll have a chance to win a pair of UNOH Fan Zone tickets for the upcoming Daytona 500 week. Be sure to take advantage of that. Also, it's a new year. The Weekly Viewers Guide is back. Every week we publish this digital newsletter featuring articles and pieces from great writers from around the NASCAR industry. Videos from me and other popular NASCAR YouTube creators are also featured inside. You can check out the latest issue by heading to groovymotorsports.com or by clicking that link down in the description below. Lots of great stuff coming your way from the out of the groove family of content. Thanks for checking that out. Now let's get to the news. Firstly, I just want to touch on this. GMS Racing announced a partnership with Rayoon Brothers to field a part part-time truck series entry for Thad Moffat this year. Usually I wouldn't talk too much about an ARCA driver getting a part-time truck gig, but look at this paint scheme he's running at Daytona next week. Ooh, that is pretty cool. It's a throwback of sorts to Richard Petty's retirement tour, 1992. 30-year anniversary of Richard Petty's final season. Thad Moffat, as you all probably know, he's been on the channel before, is Richard Petty's grandson. So this is a pretty cool tie-in, and that 43 truck looks sharp. So I'm excited to see that on track. That paint scheme will be at Daytona. Moffitt will make a few other starts in the truck series this season. That's pretty cool news. Anyway, now let's talk Xfinity. We have a couple big Xfinity stories from this past week. Kyle Busch confirmed to the media on Tuesday that he will not race in the NASCAR Xfinity series this season. He will make truck starts this year. He said his first truck race will be Las Vegas, but it appears as though Kyle Busch is making good on his promise from like a year ago. He said that once he hit 100 career Xfinity wins, he would retire from the series. Well, last year he went five for five in all of his scheduled starts and actually got to 102 wins. Some people were wondering if he was just gonna keep going, you know, sponsorship commitments and things like that, but no, at least for the time being, Kyle Busch is making good on that promise. He will not race Xfinity this year. I can already see y'all in the comments celebrating, no more bushwhacking, no more leeches. And I'll admit I am kind of excited because the Xfinity series is stacked this year, especially from about 8th through 25th on the grid. A lot of really solid mid-pack teams with very interesting stories to follow. No Kyle Busch this year could at least open the door up for some surprise winners. But I'll say this, I won't be surprised if Kyle Busch does in fact make an Xfinity start this year. Or maybe not this year, maybe next year. Like, keep in mind, Kyle Busch does not have a primary Cup Series sponsor lined up for next season with M&Ms stepping away. If a new company is interested in coming Coming on and sponsoring Kyle Busch next year, maybe this year they dabble with an Xfinity deal, maybe as a, a trial run. It sounds like that's not on the table right now, but it's a long season. Things can come together quickly and quietly. So keep an eye on the Xfinity Series entry list. I don't expect to see Kyle Busch this year, but I will be surprised if we've already seen the last of Busch in the secondary series. Again, I see you all celebrating the Wicked Witch is dead, but Kyle Busch He's going out a winner. He's not retiring from the Xfinity Series because, you know, people started beating him or it became harder to win. No, he, he, like I said, he went five for five last year. He won all five. He's going out on a five race win streak. I don't always make comparisons to other sports, but it's like Tom Brady announcing his retirement from the NFL. Dude's not retiring because y'all started beating him. I mean, he just won a Super Bowl last year. He won a playoff game this year at age 44. He's retiring because I, I guess he's just tired of it. He's won all there is to win. Kyle Busch is kind of the same way. The dude's not retiring because the Xfinity Series suddenly got more competitive. No, he's just retiring because, well, frankly, because he's tired of y'all complaining that he wins too much. I think that's kind of the driving push behind this. He said as much last year that some of that did bother him just a little bit. 102 wins in 362 starts. That's a crazy ratio. Think about it. If this is, in fact, the end of Kyle Busch's Xfinity Series tenure, the man changed this series. Right now, Cup Series drivers are only allowed to make five Xfinity starts a year. That's that's the Kyle Busch rule. Back in the day, full-time Cup Series drivers could win Xfinity championships. Kyle Busch did back in 2009. Harvick did. Carl Edwards did. It's not like the Xfinity Series was just full of scrubs for the last 15 years. No, it's not as competitive as the Cup Series, obviously, but for years, he was going up against the Kevin Harvicks, the Brad Keselowskis, the Carl Edwards, the Denny Hamlins, the Clint Boyers, the Joey Loganos, who are also in competitive rides, and Kyle Busch 
Bush wipe the floor with them more times than not. So while I think it's fair to celebrate him leaving the Xfinity series, it gives some of these younger drivers a, a better chance to shine, I'm not gonna join in the chorus of haters that completely dismiss all of Kyle Busch's Xfinity series success. That's unfair, that's disingenuous. Not as impressive as Cup Series wins, for sure, but 102 Xfinity wins in 362 starts. Let's compare to Kevin Harvick. From 2009 to 2012, Kevin Harvick won seven races in 76 starts. Seven out of 76 in the Xfinity series. That same era, 2009 to 2012, Kyle Busch won 30 races in 106 starts. There's no comparison. Kyle Busch was a beast. He owns the Nationwide, the Busch, the Xfinity series, whatever you want to call it. You can be happy that he's gone, but do not disrespect the success. Anyway, I'll move off Kyle Busch, but I don't want to move away from Joe Gibbs Racing's Xfinity Series program just yet because yesterday, JGR made a shocking new driver announcement. They're still going to have an all-star car, even though Kyle Busch, at least theoretically, will not be one of the drivers. Yesterday, Joe Gibbs Racing revealed that Trevor Bain is back. All aboard the Bain train. Boy wonder, yes, Trevor Bain will race for Joe Gibbs Racing, the 18 car in the Xfinity Series this year. He's on a part-time deal, seven races. His first race will be Auto Club here at the beginning of the season. This deal is possible because of Trevor Bain's new sponsor, Devotion Nutrition, announced just days before his 31st birthday. That's right, it's been almost 11 years now since Trevor Bain broke through and won the Daytona 500 in unlikely fashion. It's been more than three years now since he raced in the NASCAR Cup Series. Now he did run, I think he made eight starts in the Truck Series in 2020 for Nice, but he hasn't raced NASCAR at all in over a year but he's back on a part-time deal. God, the fact that they officially announced Trevor Bain before they announced Ty Gibbs to the 54, like that, <laughs> that's the funniest part in all this. A lot of people are talking about what this means for Ty Gibbs. Ty Gibbs more than likely is gonna get the 54 full-time this season. I think JGR is still looking for a huge sponsor and they have not found one yet that suits their liking. But rest assured, I'm 99% sure Ty Gibbs will be full-time in the 54 this year. But we're not here to talk about Ty Gibbs or Brandon Jones, the other full-time Xfinity driver. We're here to talk about Trevor, Trevor Bain. Jason Ratcliffe will be the crew chief. I'm a big Jason Ratcliffe fan. He was Kenseth's crew chief in Cup for a few years there. He worked with Christopher Bell during his development. I like Ratcliffe. I think that's a good combo. But about Trevor Bain, oh my goodness, this this yeah, hit me out of nowhere. I, what's shocking to me, and I said it a moment ago, Trevor Bain's only 30 years old. He's about to turn 31, but he's not that old. Like, Daniel Hemmerk just won the Xfinity Championship, and he's 30 years old. Trevor Bain He's a nice guy. That's always been his his number one character trait. He's very family friendly. In general, seems very likable. He's never faltered in that department. Where he has faltered in the past is, quite frankly, in the talent department, in the results. The stat column has been his shortcoming more often than most. I'm not gonna overreact to this. It's a part-time deal. We obviously know he's getting this deal because he scrounged together enough sponsorship money from Devotion Nutrition. If Trevor Bain didn't have a sponsor, he would not have a ride in NASCAR. I think that's safe to say. But I, it's kind of like the Ty Dillon thing last year. Ty Dillon made a few starts for Joe Gibbs Racing in their Xfinity car last year. And look at him now, full-time cup ride. But last year, like Ty Dillon, again, nice guy, great dude, but he's kind of had his shot in NASCAR and hasn't done a whole lot with it. So I wasn't super excited about that move. Same goes for Trevor Bain here. I'm not super excited about this. It'll be cool, I guess, to see Trevor Bain really in the best equipment he's been in since, I guess, his Xfinity Roush days. There were a couple of years there, what, like 2013, 2014, where you know, he was in championship caliber equipment. Chris Buescher won a championship in Roush equipment in 2015. Trevor Bain won a race. I think he was sixth in points both years. Like, not bad, but not great either. I'm excited to see what a 31-year-old Trevor Bain can do in top Xfinity equipment. Seven races, I think he needs to win at least one of them if he wants to have serious discussions about his NASCAR future. Actually, that's not exactly true. We know how this works. If you have sponsorship money behind you, you can get a ride whether you really are successful or not. But I guess, I mean, if he wants a top ride in NASCAR one day, if he wants to get back to the Cup Series in a competitive seat, if he wants to win over public opinion again, get fans talking about him as an actual contender as opposed to sort of an afterthought, just a feel-good, has-been story, he needs to win at least one race this year in a Joe Gibbs race car, which absolutely I think he's capable of. He's won in NASCAR before, but I'm not going to say it's a surefire thing, especially for a guy who, again, has not raced NASCAR in over a year. He'll be an interesting story to follow, at least at the beginning of this season, but I'm not sure how far 
the Bane experiment is really gonna go. One other point that I do wanna make, again, going back to his age, 31, he'll be 31 like a week and a half, is that in NASCAR, drivers typically hit their prime in their 30s. So I know Bane's been out of the sport for over a year. I know he hasn't raced full time in like three or four years, but at 31 years old, he's entering his prime, at least theoretically. So maybe we'll see a Trevor Bane that we haven't seen consistently before. I'm skeptical, but he is in a Gibbs car. Let's see what he can do. It's just seven races. Flash in the pan, it's now or never. Share your thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you expect from Trevor Bain and that number 18 car this season? Leave your comments down below. That's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future episodes. As always, a big thank you to my amazing Patreon supporters. I truly appreciate your support. This show would not be possible without it. Again, be sure to check out the latest from the Out of the Groove Weekly Viewer's Guide and enter for a chance to win tickets to the UNOH Fan Zone at Daytona. I will see you all again very, very soon. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, y'all. Take care.